If you thought Google Glass was cool, wait until you see this. Google Glass says what? Welcome to another 10 Reasons Why show, Tech in the Morning with me, Scott Tomaso. It's the show that gives you or highlights the day's hottest tech, specifically for you, the layman. All right, you know what? Let's just get down to the nitty gritty here. You like tech. I like tech. You want a personal Jarvis like Iron Man. I want a personal Jarvis and I want to be Iron Man. And we both want our things now. So here's the deal. You've heard of Google Glass, right? Okay, it's like the next wave of technology. It's gonna be the biggest thing since iPhone. But the question is, is wearable technology here to stay? Some say yes, some say no. But after seeing what I'm about to show you, I'm gonna say hell yes. This is Meta's Space Glasses. Incredible power at your fingertips to shape the world around you. To create the extraordinary. Wait, 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 wait. Show, show me the, show, show that again. Show, show me that again. Incredible power at your fingertips. All right, all right, to all right. Stop the video. The Stop the video. This is like Google Glass on crack. And not only that, but it looks so much better. So without getting into like the entire spectrum of the technical side of things, I'm gonna try to break it down to you uh, in layman's terms to show you exactly what this device will give you and what it does for you. First of all, it's the fastest wearable computer on the planet. It will literally be the fastest wearable computer on the planet. Think five to 10 times faster than your current iPhone. And as you already saw, it's got a stylish Ray-Ban look to it. Not only that, but when you compare it to Google Glass, it has 15 times the screen area. 15 times, not 15%, 15 times bigger. Now speaking of Google Glass, it does its graphics in 2D, whereas the Meta Space Glasses do it in true 3D display. You've got fingers, right? Guess what? Stick them in front of your face and your fingers become virtual reality instruments to do whatever you want inside this virtual world. Now that brings us to a little bit more of the actual specs. It's got 3D surround sound, a nine axis motion unit with accelerometer, gyroscope, and compass. It comes with an Intel i5 CPU, 128 gigabytes of storage, that's massive, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, a virtual phone that you can take with you everywhere, and my personal favorite, a virtual laptop and tablet, which basically turns your laptop into a hologram that you can place anywhere and you can work with unlimited screens, uh, unlimited. It won't bog down or anything, just, just put them everywhere. Now for all of you creators, there's also Zero UI that allows you to shape objects using your hands and bring them to life through 3D printing. You know how much we love 3D printing. Want a beer mug? Shape a beer mug and print it off. Want a brick you can throw at your TV because your team is losing? Shape a brick and print it off. The possibilities are endless. That brick joke was for all of you Auburn Tiger fans. So with all of this kick-ass stuff, there has to be some sort of drawback, right? Well, there is. It's going to weigh a lot more than Google Glass will. It currently has only about four hours of battery life, which presumably will get better down the line, and it will cost you about $3,500. Now that $3,500 price tag may seem like a lot, but let's put it into perspective here. You're, you're literally buying a computer. Not only that, but you're, you're getting your phone, a laptop, and a tablet. It's all something that's wearable. This laptop, when it was all said and done, the one that I have right here in front of me, that was probably about $3,000. So the price tag on this thing does not scare me at all, and it shouldn't scare you either. The great news is that there is already more than 500 apps at Meta's Space Glass's disposal. So they're not just gonna make a splash into the marketplace, they're gonna make one hell of an entry. And the news just keeps getting better because you can actually get these things in July of this year. Yeah this year. And if you're in the market already, if you really want to buy these things and you're like, hell yeah, go to their website, www.spaceclasses.com. You can go pre-order these bad boys right now. So what do you guys think? Will you be going out and buying the Meta Pro Space Glasses? Are they better than Google Glass? Do you think it'll do better than Google Glass? Or is this just too much technology, too fast, 
and nobody's gonna give a shit. I say, bring it on, baby. Bring it on. Oh, and Meta, if you wanna send me a pair of your glasses, I will gladly take them out and test them for you. I will take them for a ride you won't believe. I'm just throwing it out there. You can throw it back if you like. Just throwing it. All right, that's it for today's show. Probably one of my favorites of all time. I love this product. If you wanna learn more about other tech devices or gadgets, Come to our website at www.10reasonswhyshow.com. Make sure you subscribe, comment, let us know how we're doing. You know, we love hearing from you guys. Until next time, I'm Scott Tomaso. Now go tech yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs>